What's going on, family? This is Scrapbook Boxing Museum of the Forgotten Fisticuff Series. I want to talk about a fantastic middleweight who carried a Bible in one hand and a gym bag in the other hand. They called him the Georgia Deacon. He was a phenomenal southpaw, six foot tall. His name was Theodore Tiger Flowers. He was born August 5th, 1895 in Camilla, Georgia. And he unfortunately died November 16, 1927 in New York in a hospital following an operation for detached retina. And unfortunately for Theodore Tiger Flowers, he wouldn't leave the hospital alive. He stood 5 foot 10 inches and weighed 157 to 169 pounds. He was managed by War Miller. He would hold the distinction of being the only African American fighter to win a world title after Jack Johnson would do it in 1908. Jack Johnson would stop Tommy Burns in the 14th round in 1908 and become the first African American world heavyweight champion. And in 1926, Tiger Flowers would do the same in the middleweight division when he would defeat the Pittsburgh Windmill, Harry Greb, February 26, 1926. Now I want to go through Harry Greb's career as well as Theodore Tiger Flowers' career. But I want to do it right here with you on the Museum of the Forgotten Fisticuff Series. Now, in 1971, Nat Flasher would give Tiger Flowers and his name and honors the Ring Magazine plaque for Hall of Fame honors. Fascinating. 1976. Tiger Flowers would earn the World Boxing Hall of Fame plaque in his honor. 1993, he would earn a plaque in honor of the International Boxing Hall of Fame. He was quite a fighter. Theodore Tiger Flowers. Now, Theodore Tiger Flowers had a professional career record of 119 wins, 13 losses, 52 knockouts, 21 no decisions, and one no contest. He fought from 1918 to 1927. He would hold the World Midway Championship of the world. He would earn that title on February 26, 1926, over the Pittsburgh Windmill, Harry Greb. I have Harry Greb, the second greatest fighter of all time. Right behind Sam Lankford, who I have number one. Other great fights that Tiger Flowers would be involved in would be a four-round KO over William Gorilla Jones. William Gorilla Jones would become the world middleweight champion. Tiger Flowers would be knocked out by Sam Lankford. Sam Lankford would be the colored heavyweight champion and the colored middleweight champion. Lankford will win the colored heavyweight champion when he fought Joe Jeanette and Harry Wells. Tiger Flowers would defeat Jamaica Kid in 10 rounds. Jamaica Kid would be colored middleweight champion of the world. He would lose 10 rounds to Mickey Walker. Mickey Walker would be welterweight champion and middleweight champion of the world. Mickey Walker was known as the Toy Bulldog. He would have a 10 round draw over Maxi Rosenblum. Maxi Rosenblum would become light heavyweight champion of the world. 
Tiger Flowers would begin his professional career in 1918. Knockouts as follows. Billy Hooper, 11. Kid Fox, in 2. Bate Hazel, in 8. He would defeat Bate Henry Williams, in 20. Ruff Cameron, in 10. And Bate Mims, in 15. 1919 would be the year that Jack Dempsey would knock out Jess Willard in 4 rounds and become the world heavyweight champion in stunning fashion. Well, that year, Tiger Flowers would have knockouts as follows. Roughhouse Baker in three. He would defeat Bake Mims in 10. And Bill Hooper in 20. 1920, knockouts would be as followed. Tiger Moore, two rounds. Kid Palmer in three rounds. He would defeat Sailor Darden in 15 rounds. And Bake Mims in 10 rounds. 1921. Knockouts would be as follows. Kid Brown and eight. Bate Throck and three. William Gorilla Jones and three. Jim Barry and four. Mexican Kid Brown and five. And he would win one. Billy Hooper and ten. Bate Mims and ten. Bate Mims and ten again. And Bate McGee and ten. Bate McGee again in eight. Whitey Black in eight. Fascinating. He would be knocked out by Panama Joe Gans. But who was Panama Joe Gans? He would hold the colored middleweight champion of the world. 1922, the year that Nat Flasher would begin his saga of the Ring magazine. Flowers would have knockouts over Jack Ray, two rounds. Kid Brown, two rounds. Kid Patty, one round. Kid Davis, one round. Eddie Palmer, ten rounds. He would defeat Billy Britton in 15. Sam Langford, three rounds. Kid Norfolk, he would be stopped by. Kid Norfolk was the colored light heavyweight champion who he took title from, Lee Anderson. Lee Anderson would lose to Tiger Flowers. And he would have a two-round draw with him. Bay Norfolk in 8, 1923. 1923 would be the year that Harry Greb would defeat a fighter by the name of Johnny Wilson. And Harry Greb would become the new middleweight champion of the world. Well, you see, Tiger Flowers had his eyes set on that prize. And he would get his opportunity in 1926. And as you can see here, he fought Jamaica Kid a few times. Fireman Jim Flynn in Mexico defeated him in five rounds. Jim Flynn would knock out Jack Dempsey in the first round, and he'd be disqualified with multiple headbutts and fighting Jack Johnson. Fireman Jim Flynn would have about three to four fights with Sam McVeigh. I'm sorry, Sam Langford. Let's just scroll along and continue. Tut Jackson. Now, Tut Jackson was some fighter. He would knock him out in one round. That goes to show you the quality of punches that was thrown by Tiger Flowers. Jamaica Kid, New York City, he would knock him out in seven rounds. Cleve Hawkins, Atlanta, Georgia, knock him out in three rounds. Nineteen twenty-five. Look at the amount of fights that Tiger Flowers would have. He'd be knocked out by Jack Delaney in New York in two rounds. January 16th, 1925. Jack Delaney would become light heavyweight champion of the world. He fought him again and he was knocked out again by Jack Delaney in four rounds. March 4th of that same year. We face Lee Anderson. In Philadelphia, Pennsylvania, he would defeat him in 10 rounds on June 8th of 1925. He would face Mike Matique in New York City, lose to him in 10 rounds, roughly stopped the fight. December 23rd, 1925. Now, 1926, February 26th, he would face Harry Greb, New York City. He would win 15, and he would win the World Midway Championship of the World. Let's take a look at that fight. Before we do, Panama Joe Gans. 
he would defeat him in 10 rounds. April 16, 1926. Young Barford Simmons. Jersey City. No decision in 10 rounds. He would face Harry Greb again, August 19th. New York City and defeat him in 15 rounds. So Greb couldn't defeat Tiger Flowers. October 15th, Maxi Rosenblum. He would lose on a foul in nine rounds. December 3rd, Mickey Walker, Chicago. He would lose to him in 10 rounds and lose the middleweight championship of the world. Now I want to take a look at that Harry Greb and Tiger Flowers fight. It took place February 26th, 1926 in Madison Square Garden. Let's take a look. Now, Harry Greb, fascinating middleweight. He was from Pittsburgh. They called him the Pittsburgh Windmill. He would defeat Johnny Wilson in 1923 and himself become the middleweight champion of the world. Johnny Wilson Here you have Harry Greb to your right Johnny Wilson to the left 